so I promise to a lot of people that I'm going to share an experience about my work in three different countries that I have worked so far for at least six years to seven years for now and around six years probably because I studied also and it's a completely different topic normally I am more in travels but I think it's time for me to share with people about the different type of work culture and how things are different in different countries so rather than talking any more details I am directly going to switch to my topic so as I said um, I will start with my experience in US so in United States um, work culture can be very different than many other countries in the terms of that I will talk about when I first got my first job in US I was a beginner and I was put in an experience position because it's very hard to get a job if you are want to work as an entry level software engineer or entry level uh, developer or entry level mechanical engineer whatever it is it's very hard to get that type of a job because um, people of course they have people from America who are American citizens they will be hired and they won't be um, preferring you who is an immigrant to give you that job so you have to always fight a lot to get those positions and in and the main reason thing is that sometimes even you have to put fake things in your resume which I didn't put it first time but I understood that in order to get a job you first have to try to prepare some topics that you think you could be having a lot of strength to crack the interview to have enough knowledge to tell in the interview that yes you know it and how you know it in technical details so that when you get the job you are capable of doing something but now I come to the thing of work environment now you got the job you have your offer letter and now you want to show how much you know in the environment you have to deliver it so I think in the terms of that condition United States is one of the best countries in the world to work because people over there love your involvement they always don't care about the result so I, when I was in US as a beginner uh, I was very enthusiastic I wanted to give my best I wanted to deliver my best but I didn't got a chance uh, because I was, I was just a beginner so it happened many times that I was given a walk but I was unable to perform it completely but with my involvement with my uh, way of dealing with the walk with my way of leading the team I got a lot of appreciation from my seniors from my colleagues even people came way up to help me to help me to succeed what I am doing and nobody complained that this guy I see doesn't have experience this guy is as long as you're involved as long as you are doing something for the team that's all matters they don't care if you have fully delivered it or not so some way or the other even people tell me that American work culture is very strict people want to fire you there is no job rules people have people are always tensed and everything I personally feel it is one of the easiest work culture to integrate it is some of the work culture that colleagues actually really support you really like you know as long as the first day you meet you shake hands with them you become their friends I mean it doesn't matter you might not be deep friends with them but who cares in work you have to work together to deliver something right so in that case they're very helpful very supportive even you don't do even you're technically not that strong as long as you're involved as long as you're trying hard to do something you're trying to find information out of it they will appreciate you they will appreciate you refer and there is no point of getting thrown out from the company so that's about my uh, my analysis of United States work culture although later part when I became more experienced I I was had a lot of technical knowledge on what I am doing and I really got a lot of appreciation in US I think the most appreciation in my life was in US nowhere else I could get that much appreciation 
okay now i will come to but here i will tell about a downside also before jumping into india here comes the downside once okay once you get a job from doing masters or bachelors you get into a uh, something called opt so opt is the practical training that is for 29 months and after that you have to switch to an h1b that is the work visa of us and once you get a us work visa that is done by lottery system i don't know exactly what's going on in these days but in my time it was a lottery once you get a h1b things can be quite difficult because in h1b work visa is only limited to that particular position for example if you are a software developer you can only work as a software developer you cannot be able to work as a scrum say for example you want to be a people's man like a scrum master or something you cannot be able to switch on to that because your visa is entitled to software engineer so in that case it is very difficult because you don't get the opportunity to speak uh, to your manager and tell them okay i don't like this type of work i want to switch my position you are basically slave to the company so once you get that uh, state until you become a green card holder or something which takes years and years these days you can never able to change positions easily and that's the reason vacancy also becomes very tight people don't able to get because you will be working there for 6 years 7 years 10 years who knows how long and and nobody can able to take your position unless you are fired from the company which is also possible and in case you are fired in case you are fired from the company then basically just within a month or 3 weeks you have to find a job which is extremely difficult or like one month or something so that is something i will never recommend Uh, in US, that is the downside of the American work culture. But otherwise, I will tell it's a very good atmosphere in work culture, and people are very much optimistic. People are very much enthusiastic, and people always love your involvement. Now I will come to India. Okay, Indian work culture depends upon which region you are. I worked in Hyderabad. It's in the southern side of India. Generally, people are nice. People are normally very polite people in india but in india there could be a lot of politics at work people sometimes can be like you know telling good things on you and the behind they want to just tell something really bad about you that you are bethics or something to your manager and make things worse uh, also in india sometime it happens the person who is working hard uh, nobody cares Uh, the more work load is given to him so that he keeps on working hard and other person is sleeping or doesn't come to work just because he has some relation or good good type of mentality with the manager that he always the manager always gives him credit but you are work never gets noticed but again job stability in india is more than us uh, once you are in a stable job firing you is not very easy mm, uh, also in india i will tell you that if you have manager is the big boss in india don't try to make your manager mad because manager is like a god to indian employees so once you see that you have a good relation with your manager everything should be fine and you should always respect your manager a lot because in indian work culture manager is not exactly like a friend who with whom you can talk a lot of things your manager has always has a level so there is always a hierarchy in india i think it's a bit in europe i will come into that also but uh, in india hierarchy is a big thing something which was completely not there in us in us manager is never be like a like a big boss he always is like a friend in us there is no type of hierarchy which i was one of the best things i noticed in america there is no hierarchy uh, but in india hierarchy is a big big thing i mean if you want to talk to your manager make sure that he gets the respect even if you have a argument try to make it politely as possible try to try to make the things look that you know you are having a different way of not if you want to have keep your position stable i mean you, you can of course show your argument but next day you might see that he wants to fire you or doesn't want to keep you in the job or something like that 
um, India also working hours here is something I want to tell you in America if you finish your work nobody wants to see you in your work you finish it you go back go home you can go home at 5 o'clock 4 o'clock if you, once your work is done you're free India you have to complete the number of hours no matter even if you finish your work even there is no work left for, for you that day you have to stay till office to complete the number of like 10 hours or 9 hours you have to complete at work you have to do that in India otherwise I mean people will start complaining or there will be a card like which you swipe to enter your job that you know the card is giving a red alarm or something that you are not completing enough hours which I felt a bit stupid because come on person has a life work is uh, always we are not entitled to our work. work work should not be our symbol so once you are free you are free you are completed your work nobody wants to know why you are going out you should have your own personal life and freedom so come on India that should not be the case for you also I would tell in India people take a lot of breaks half of the time they are going out uh, having a cigarette or uh, going for some uh, some Indian street food and again coming back to work so I think relaxation is a lot more in India compared to US or in Europe in US also there is relaxation but I think the most consuming is Europe where people hardly I see relaxing I will come into that point just just very quickly so that's my work experience in India and Indian people also get you get a lot of appreciation if you are doing well I mean of course in big companies I'm not talking about startups in big companies you get awards you get appreciation of your work so that is there in India now I'm going to switch on to France in Europe so this is something very very different experience I think the most different and challenging experience I've ever had in my life and why am I saying this is because there is a reason first of all language in France if you want to work French is a must I mean even if it's not a must but at least if you know French 90% of jobs gets open to you and every corner gets much more open than a person who is not speaking French and who only knows English my French is horrible I don't want to deny it um, I am still learning French and even now I have gone quite a lot far but still I need to go much farther to be I can tell that my French is fluent so yes I do struggle a lot to find a job in France and that too I will tell here is something in France France they say there is something called CDI contract contract duty indeterminate so once you have that contract basically that job becomes your permanent job I mean it's the job for your life nobody can fire you but actually even though it says that you can still get fired and even there is a chance because in the first four months it's called the probation period and that is the time the company observes you if you are really doing that well or if you are not doing that well everything they observes you and if they think that you are not capable of work, they can easily fire you and it's even easier than US, much much easier. Because I know a lot of cases in France where people got hired with CDI and within 4 months they got fired. Because they thought that you know this particular position is not fit for the person or something like that and they got fired. Even I am working in such a position and I am not sure also whether I am capable of doing because there are a few reasons I want to tell you here. In France, like as I told you, in, in US teamwork is a big support. Every team people are very charming, they, even if you are not technically very strong, even if you are very involved, you are trying to work hard, you are trying to document or you are trying to do some type of involvement which maybe not your work to do they will accept it and they will make sure that you do that and you can able to work on it and finish the work they will not care that okay how much technically strong you are even if you have been interviewed for a position which is has like say five years experience six years experience they don't give a shit but in France if you have interviewed for a technical position and if you have they felt at that time that you are technically sound for that position you need to know send percent every single thing so that you can able to deliver all such things at any cost in France if you have given such type of work 
because there will be no one to show you no one to guide you no one to train you because french people in that way are very very rude and very very uh, i don't want to tell anything bad about them but that's the culture they expect you to be like that once you're hired for the position it's you who have the sole resp responsibility no one is there in the team who can show you team is just for every individual so in europe it's more individualistic mentality than together togetherness the team mentality spirit is not there in europe and especially in france uh, i have observed this because um, i have observed many times that you have given a walk and it can happen that many things you don't know and people really normally give you a like very high level idea and that's it they expect you that you will be finishing it fully it's your problem your headache but they at, at the end they want the result even they see that you have tried hard you have tried to succeed and you have followed the right way to reach at the particular point then you need some help and support it's not really appreciated in france they want the result to be done no matter what and another thing i will tell you unless you are a french citizen or unless you are like a permanent resident with all the possibilities and your french is excellent you are going to land up in a startup or maybe in a big consulting firm like Altra or Capgemini or something like that in French firm which will finally put you in a company or a project which is a startup project or a project which could be highly complicated because since you're an immigrant you have to fulfill some criteria which is better than a French citizen and, and, and exceeding the expectation of French citizen can be quite high so make sure when you are in such a project your expectation will be skyrocket one more thing is that people say french work less hours absolutely wrong that's the wrong lie i am working in france i think i am giving the most number of hours than anywhere in the world i have worked not even in india sometimes i am working even 14 hours a day simply because the project is quite hard there is no one to show me there is no team everything every single thing i'm doing myself so yes sometimes i have to work 14 hours and if I, if i don't work 14 hours i think i could be in a position to get fired because i won't be able to complete my work because there are so much things so many things that there i'm not telling 14 hours in the sense that i'm taking a cigarette i'm walking outside i'm enjoying my life i'm straight in the desk or i am in the lab or I am in the autonomous lab working with the autonomous cars, or robots, anything. I am always involved into something. So personally, I feel working atmosphere in France, it's not exactly something very, uh, very, I would say, charming. Because people are a bit rude to you. People could be like, you know, they don't appreciate you. They never give you awards, no matter how hard you have worked, never give you awards so yes uh, and your boss could be also very picky even they see that you have worked really really hard they will never tell you that okay raj you did a great job i appreciate you they will always say you could have done better i mean this is not your uh, most you have done you could have done better so they never tell you really that you have done really well so that's something I really miss about America where people were very friendly and people were very nice and I don't really see that in France. It's worse than India in terms of those appreciating things. But yes, I see everybody does their work, everybody is involved in their work, not like somebody is sleeping, somebody is working. So that is not there. And CDI contract, first four months can be held because it can be easier to fire in France than in India, than in America. Because first four months is more like a test on you and you can get fired anytime if they don't think that you're capable of what you're doing. And the expectation of French people is such that, that you know, you don't know. They may not be liking you at all. So uh, you we really don't know. It could be very quick. So yes, that's my analysis. And regarding the salary wise, in general, as an engineer, America pays the most salary than any country then comes France, then comes India. Of course, cost of living in India is much cheaper than this country. So, of course, even if you get a lesser salary, maybe the saving wise, it's, it's not that less. Because these days, even earning 1 lakh in India is not that big deal. I mean, if you are a very big software company like Google or something, you can get that much money in India also. 
France pays exactly something, but I would say that salary is almost half of what the pay they pay in America because America you can easily get more than hundred thousand dollars per year. So in France, getting a fifty thousand dollar is quite difficult. I mean, in some jobs only you will get that. Normally the salary is forty thousand to forty five thousand. Sometimes you can get higher salaries, but uh, it is not very common. But that being said, France has free healthcare. France has free transportation. Company pays for your transportation, and all those facilities are there, which is not there in America or India. So yes, those things are nicer. So I think that's about it. I kind of give you an idea about how the work culture is. It best thing is whichever country you are. If you want to, if you get your right job, dream job, or if you have a business in mind, go ahead and do it. if you want to come to abroad then always think make sure that it is not easy life is very difficult here as long as like you know you are a immigrant once you cross the immigrant status life can be easier but it is not it's definitely very hard and you have to be fighting much more better than a citizen then only you will be deserve to get that particular job and staying there that being said i'm signing off this is rajpal Thank you for listening.